Valley flood patterns changing in Las Vegas. That's what a new study shows from the Desert Research Institute. Mary Jane Valley is alive now. She is at Eastern and Desert Inn with more on why and what that means for those of us who live here, Mary Jane. Well, Brian, this wash is just one of the many flood channels across the valley. And as you can see, it stretches hundreds of miles, returning stormwater back to Lake Mead. Now that study shows the shift of seasonal flooding and how the city is adapting. In just the past several years, the Las Vegas population grew to over 2 million. With the growth comes the need for flood channels and drainages and monitoring our ever-changing weather patterns. Guayu with the Desert Research Institute is studying how urban development and the climate can alter flood risks and how we can adapt. The Clark County Regional Flood Control District built a number of storm drains to push water away from our city and into Lake Mead. Before that, we can see more flooding occurring like on causes the, the inundation across the city. But after the, the initiation of the flood control district, less, less inundation is happening here in Las Vegas, but, but more water occurred in the downstream. The study also looked at how floods now happen more in the winter instead of the historically summer monsoon season. Jen Varian, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service, says winters are a wet season. So we have the winter rain, which is about half of the rainfall that we typically get in a season or in a year. And then the monsoon is about the other half to three quarters. So since December 1st, which is the start of meteorological winter, we've had 0.69. So we have seen more winter floods than the summer floods in most recent uh, three decades. So that is related to the climate change. The Clark County Regional Flood Control is responsible for developing and implementing flood control master plans for the county. Now, individual flood control plans must be reviewed every five years. Reporting live, Mary Jane Belleza, 8 News Now. Mary Jane, thank you. Now, before the Regional Flood District was created, the U.S. Soil Conservation Service documented 184 distinct flood events in Clark County that resulted in damages to both private and public property.